we're discussing um, parenting. You know, there are concerns that the men who live outside this country, you know, in the Western world, are different from the men who are in Ghana. There are concerns that men who live outside are more expressive of their emotions. Men in Ghana do not. Uh, there are concerns about the fact that men who live outside are more supportive of their wives or their partners compared to men who live here in Ghana. And so we are, we are asking the question, why is it that way and i have been joined in studio by two beautiful men who will be helping us understand the dynamics when it comes to men who live outside and men who live here and this is because m uh, paul foundation is organizing a breakfast meeting uh they have dubbed real men impact crew breakfast meeting and this is supposed to be addressing all the issues we're raising here this morning so welcome uh, emmanuel paul nimfa wilkinson is a founder director of m paul foundation and reverend father rex andrew vigby svd is the communication director for divine word missionaries good morning Good morning. Right, so let me start with you. Uh, it's right. your foundation that is organizing this uh, breakfast meeting. That's right. Why are men really different? I mean, men, everybody, we are all human beings. We expect yeah. to have, you know, similar characteristics here and there. But men who live outside are slightly different from men here in Ghana. Why? Uh, well, f first of all, you need to understand that um, it's the cultural Mm -hmm. background you know our environment here is entirely different from the environment outside and i would like to also make a note that the outside world their support system works for them mm -hmm. and so they get to be more expressive of things the man outside there can freely express his emotion so if he loves you he tells you i love you if he's not happy he says i hate this i i traveled one time i was in london and I had an interaction with a white man. Mm -hmm. He wasn't happy about something. Then, then he expressed it. Mm -hmm. But Ghana man will keep it in his head. Yeah, so yeah, wondering what's happening in e there. Exactly. So we will surprise you. Mm -hmm. By the time we get angry, mm -hmm. it's a surprise. And mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, it is a shock to our children because they don't they, see it coming. They don't see it coming. Mm -hmm. And by the time it comes, and they are confused. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it has its positive sides because sometimes you need to also be patient and all that. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, it tends out to be surprising to the family. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you understand also, even in Ghana here, mm -hmm. men are really suffering. Mm -hmm. There's too much pressure, or there's too mm -hmm. much pressure on our men in Ghana here. Really? Uh, yes, uh, too <laughs> much of it. Uh, one of it's from uh, the fact that he has to see to almost everything. Mm -hmm. the, the man has to be the hero. He needs to make everything possible. Um, sometimes I choose examples of, let's say, putting up, you know, infrastructures Building. or buildings. Yeah. In Accra here, mm -hmm. think of lands. Mm -hmm. How have we managed it? Mm -hmm. And if every father has to build a house or leave a legacy for his family, mm -hmm. think of the hassle they will go through. Mm -hmm. uh, getting to buy a land, uh, the land has been sold to three, four people already. Mm -hmm. uh, land guard issues have come in. Mm -hmm. He has to make sure that his, his, his salary can meet all these, you know. And he, he lives in Kanesh, but he has to build a house at, say, Dodua. Mm -hmm. You know, all the hassles. Mm -hmm. and you, so you're saying that the problems of the man in Ghana is what makes us different from those outside. Exactly, but when it yeah. comes to even parenting, you yeah. know, men here in Ghana bring up their children pretty well when yes. it co compared to the outside country. So our problems do not deter us from bringing up our children well. <laughs> uh, well, it, it looks like the way we have been brought up in the past and the, the family system supports it in a way mm -hmm. because the outside world, they've lost it. Because mm -hmm. the children can just say what they like because the freedom of speech is mm -hmm. there. In Ghana, yeah, it's... You can't it's, try that. <laughs> you can't... You, actually, you can't try that. You've you got to be, you mm -hmm. know, uh, put right. Mm -hmm. And so, in Ghana here, we, we, we are blessed with that. And so, that seems to help us manage it well. Mm -hmm. Of course, outside, we will say that, okay, they, they are free. They can say... But honestly, what also that tends out, though we grow up to be... A, 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 morally sound and all that mm -hmm. confidently we are not mm -hmm. because we are not so confident yeah we are yeah. not so confident so mm -hmm. we get in some respect we turn out to be good but, but timid we, 
timid yeah. and we are fearful we can't express ourselves because and that's the difference mm -hmm. they have gone haywire mm -hmm. they they've lost it mm -hmm. however they can actually make things happen reverend father so what, what role are you playing in this breakfast meeting well i'm a divine word missionary catholic priest mm -hmm. and uh we are following the footsteps of christ to bring about peace love and harmony especially in families mm -hmm. and when it comes to this uh, one may ask a Catholic priest, you're not married. Mm -hmm. How are you? What experiences do you have? Mm -hmm. But trust me, I always tell people that look at all the Catholic priests, the majority of them, we don't have hair. All because of marriage problems. <laughs> 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 you know, the huge number of cases that come to us mm -hmm. make us to gain a lot of experiences. Mm -hmm. All that we need is to make a happy home, mm -hmm. to contribute to make a happy home. Mm -hmm. And husbands have a role to play. Mm -hmm. As Paul said, uh, we have our background, have our cultures, mm -hmm. all those things have influence on us. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have got it to a stage where we need to change certain cultural aspects. Mm -hmm. Where uh, this breakfast uh, meeting, mm -hmm. uh, we reflect from time to time, reflect on some of these things. Mm -hmm. And you realize that when it comes to the home, mm -hmm. uh, although we don't have statistics readily available to make a generalization that, oh, men don't support their wives, or this and that, but the cases that come up, you know, these days we are having a number of marriage breakups, mm -hmm. and they come from little little issues. Mm -hmm. And these are some of some of them, like uh, the rule of men. Mm -hmm. uh, you won't believe it that just little, you know, toilet flashing. Mm -hmm. You go to the loo, you flash, you want yes. the woman to flash. Yes. You know, and, and the yes. concern about the fact that, you know, we are in a changing world. Women are working mm. as hard as men. Yes. In, in fact, some women earn more than their husbands. Yeah, uh, and yet the woman is expected to do all the chores, yes. including help with homeworks of mm. the children, mm. clean, mm. cook, mm. and all that. Mm. So is this um, meeting going to address all these? So this meeting definitely is going to be addressing this. Um, much of the focus is also looking at technology trends now. Okay. You know, and how that is affecting parenting and looking at it from the perspective of men mm -hmm. or the fathers. So how is technology feeding into uh, the parenting uh, system that we have now? How is it affecting? Example. Um, one, now, when you go to most homes, mm -hmm. um, you get to realize that they don't have relationship because almost everybody is it's hooked on to their phone. So yeah. you enter their homes and everybody is on their phone. Um, what's happened or doing something so mother don't get to talk to children children don't get to talk to father everybody is cool and they are communicating with outside world so we are in a home and the outside world has more influence on what happens to our children mm. than us mm -hmm. and that is so dangerous mm -hmm. and you don't have an idea overnight your children have cultivated certain habits mm -hmm. they've learned certain things so dangerous for their progress and you have no idea mm -hmm. And because we are also not talking about it, you don't get the opportunity to know it. Mm -hmm. And they move out, things are happening all around them, they get to see, they get to have the opportunity to go to the net. Who is controlling what? Mm -hmm. Who is checking what for us? And whose responsibility is to make sure if technology is good, mm -hmm. it's given to you at the right time, and his money said that it supports you mm -hmm. rather than to harm you. But so who are the speakers you're expecting? And what should we expect on, 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 on the day of the meeting? Great. So um, on the tomorrow tomorrow morning uh, okay. at 8 a.m., mm -hmm. that is sit, sit of March, mm -hmm. uh, Friday tomorrow holiday, mm -hmm. sit of March at the St. Teresa's Church Hall. Mm -hmm. It's where this breakfast meeting is taking place. Okay. And uh, like I said, we are talking about technology and parenting. Mm -hmm. We'll have Reverend Father Rex Vebe talk about parenting in its detail. Okay. And then we have some of our lecturers, um, Mr. Roxon, also talk about now technology and parenting. Mm -hmm. We also be looking at parenting and then internet mm -hmm. and all how you know all these systems are affecting. Then we will have a session where we have a workshop. Mm -hmm. The men are going to discuss mm -hmm. um, what are the things, what are the new things, mm -hmm. how is this changing parenting, how do we reposition ourselves as fathers mm -hmm. to be able to take control of the situation and Absolutely. we'll have tech stands mm -hmm. where these gentlemen or ladies will help um, the men to be able to manage their phones because some of the fathers they're actually afraid to 
uh, manipulate the phones, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll have some of our techie groups coming mm -hmm. and be able to run the fathers through their phone. Probably you don't know how to even set controls over the phones, mm -hmm. so they will help you and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. What's the rate? Is it free? It is free. Absolutely free. Absolutely open free. Open to the general public. Open to the general okay. public, but exclusively for men. Exclusively, exclusively for, so if I come, for, you won't allow me. We're yeah. not going to allow it, except that you're going to be part of the uh, coordinating team. Okay. However, you won't be part of the discussions. Okay. At the time where we are serving our breakfast, mm -hmm. you'll be allowed because it's a beauty when you have women serving you. <laughs> so yes, okay. that's other than strictly that, mm. strictly, strictly. Okay, Father, um, your last words as we wrap up. Yes, please. Mm. Uh, we have got it to a stage mm. where we need to turn off from our grandfathers where a man marries a woman and he goes to the phone comes back mm -hmm. and the woman has to do everything mm -hmm. it's a challenge that i'm throwing to the men mm -hmm. to show that support mm -hmm. full support for their husbands mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't 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 wait for your to, to eat and let your wife go and wash your dishes mm -hmm. if the movement in the house alone builds you up mm -hmm. people forget that as you walk you exercise, you wash dishes, you mm -hmm. move up at them. You are building yourself. Mm -hmm. So all these things help so mm -hmm. that they give that support. No, your wife is pregnant. You don't expect her to get up early morning to open your breakfast. God bless you, you Reverend yes. Father. God bless you. <laughs> I hope the men are listening. <laughs> so the Real Men Impact Crew breakfast meeting is happening tomorrow uh, on the 6th of March at St. Theresa's Parish Hall, Audome Runabout, Kaneshi. So it's strictly men and it's free. And it's going to help us uh, to know how to use technology to build our homes and also how to ensure that we, we balance. I mean, we are in a changing world, how the men can support their partners at home. There's more on New Day. I've been speaking with Emmanuel Pornim Wilkinson, who is a founder and director of Empower Foundation. They are coming up with this breakfast meeting. And Reverend Father Rex Andrew Vegbe, SVD, is a communication director for Divine Word Missionaries.